10 o'clock Monday night. Getting a nice rain. I haven't heard any thunder yet. Nice peaceful night. Not too much traffic noise. I just came out of the porch and I fell asleep for a while. Laid down on the bed a couple hours ago to get some relief from the back pain. Just got up a little bit ago. Took my pain meds at 10 o'clock. A lot of coffee and a cigar. And I'm out here on the porch waiting for the pain to kick up. Pain meds to kick in a little bit. Watch a little bit of news. Waiting for the attack on Israel. Nothing happened yet, I guess. Really nice and warm out. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's in the 70s, I bet. Nice, nice rain. No wind. Just nice, steady rain. Starting to pick up a little since I came out here. I don't really know what time it started. I didn't notice until just a few minutes ago that it was raining. lightning down that way, down to the, well I should say up to the north there was a flash of lightning. I didn't hear any thunder though. It was way off in the distance. I should bring my hammock out. Hammock. I should get my hammock and set it out here and sleep on the porch tonight, or attempt to sleep on the porch. It really is beautiful, quiet, just the right temperature. And when it rains like this, I can leave the porch light on and I don't get too many bugs. Mosquitoes aren't bad at all. Heaven. I haven't had an issue with them yet. If I do, I'll start my thermocell up. Brought my flashlight out, see if I can see any deer or anything down there in the field. Rain doesn't bother them, they'll come out and get some apples. On the other side of my garage here. But I haven't seen any yet. I don't know if them apples started to fall or not. I'll have to look today. I hear some rumbles. I hear some rumbles off in the distance. storm is coming or going. They were calling for severe storms, but didn't see that yet. Just nice, gentle rain, nice warm night. I'd love to be out camping tonight. Out in the middle of the woods where there's no traffic at all. Listen to the pitter-patter on my van roof. 
for the roof of the tent. Motion detector lights just came on down by my driveway. I don't know what to set them off. But they better not come up here. Because I got boom boom. Light that up. Nothing back there. Nothing over there. In the bushes. Plants are getting a good water tonight. <coughs> that Jerusalem artichoke right there on the camera. I swore that thing grew six, eight inches since what a couple days ago and I had it on film here from the same position, I think. Definitely grew. I wonder how tall it's gonna get. I didn't expect them to get that tall. I thought it would spread and take that all, take that whole area, and that's okay. But I didn't expect to get that tall. No, that's all right. They're nice. They're pretty, especially in the rain. I think. I wonder why the traffic's so light. Tuesday night, what is it, Monday night? I guess everybody's home in bed. No tractor trailers going by, no train. Nice and quiet night. Just the way we like it. My son came down the other day and got his leather jacket for a motorcycle. He hung it out here to air it out. It's getting a little bit wet, but that's okay. It'll clean it out. Put you back here. Maybe you can watch this video on Maybe you'll get sleepy, fall asleep. I already slept a couple hours. I'll probably be up all night. Watch TV, find a movie, watch the news, piddle around. Sit out here for quite a while. Lots of little bugs flying around here. They're not mosquitoes, but... I have a lot of those little fruit flies in my house. I don't know if I brought those in with the corn I bought or what, but... I had some corn sitting on the counter that I cooked in the microwave. And I came out in the kitchen and they were just covered with them little fruit flies. I've been cooking that corn in the microwave like one of you mentioned 
I used to put it in saran wrap and now I just trim off the the you know the scruffy leaves on the corn and leave the husk on trim off the end with the corn silk a little bit and put them in the microwave within the husk and that works really good I like it that way and I have I probably ate four today two I had hot with butter and salt and pepper and then I had a couple that were just cold and I didn't put any butter or salt on them at all I like it that way so that was the third dozen corn I bought I'm down to four left I think so next time I get out, I go by the farm market, I'm gonna pick another dozen up. I still wanna freeze some, but I can't keep my hands off it once I get it home. I wanna eat it. Last year I froze a ton of it. And then I used it up over the winter. So I'm gonna have to control myself and get a dozen put away in the freezer but it's so good and doing it in the microwave is so easy to cook back in the old days I remember my mother would boil it on the stove of course a lot of people still do it that way and I do too occasionally I used to like to go to, a lot of times you go to the sportsman club or family reunions, a big family reunion where they have the big 30 gallon barrel and they throw the corn, uh, water in the bottom, put it on the fire and then put the corn on top and have steamed corn, throw it in there with the husk and all and steam it. That was so good. That was really good. Well, the rain pretty much let up here now. It always seems to let up when I come out on the porch. I'll have to check the weather, see what's going on i hope everybody down south with that nasty thing down there what is it hurricane debbie last i saw it was heading for savannah georgia my daughter's going to be moving to georgia august 18th she's going to be stationed at moody air force base but she'll be back here on on u.s ter U.S. Territory in uh, August 18th. She said the other night on Facebook that she got her house, her and her husband found a four bedroom house. So she's gonna send me a little more info on that. Be glad to have her back on American soil, especially with what's going on over there. She was in Japan, Okinawa and that's pretty close to Taiwan. I'll get, I'm glad she's getting away from there now. Alrighty, well, guess I'm gonna let you all go. We're talking here 15 minutes already. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit, check the forecast, see if any more rain's coming, I'll stay out here. If not, I'll probably go in and watch television. So everybody have a great day tomorrow. Stay frosty.